This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to answer that age-old veterinary question, why do cats purr? <laughs> cats purr for a variety of reasons, but we know less about it than more common cat sounds, you know, such as meowing, chirping, chattering, hissing and growling. In this video, I'm going to go into the science behind the purr. You know, how is it your cat is able to purr? The many reasons why cats purr. We're going to talk about the interesting vocal frequency that your cat's purr makes and how it affects us. Secondarily, then how it can affect your cat and help them speed up healing. And then lastly, talk about how a purring cat is so good for us. So what is the science behind a purr? The way it works is your cat's brain will send signals to his larynx and then that causes the larynx to vibrate at anywhere between 50 to 150 vibrations per minute. So then anytime your cat inhales and exhales, you're going to hear the sound of a purr. Not all cats can purr, all domestic cats can. A few wild cats, such as the cheetah, then there are other animals too, such as hyenas, civets, raccoons, and yes, even the guinea pig, as we have here, Oreo the purring guinea pig. Cats that roar can't purr, and cats that purr can't roar. The larynx of a roaring cat, you know, such as the tiger, isn't firm enough to allow the vibrations to produce the purr, whereas the larynx of our domestic cats, and yes, our guinea pigs, is quite firm to allow them to purr. First, you're correct. Your cat is purring when she's happy. Gussie here, I don't think you can hear her right now. She's pretty content hanging out on the couch, getting petted just the right way. So while she's doing it, she's purring. Your cat might be purring when she wants something. It might be food, but even more importantly, researchers examined the frequency of cat's purrs, and when they looked at a number of the cat's purrs, the low end of the frequency went from somewhere between 200 to 550 hertz, which is very similar to the cries that a human baby would make, somewhere between a 300 to 500 hertz range. So in terms of seeing that similarity, the thought is that there's some innate purr has developed uh, that triggers us as people to respond. When we hear that cry in a baby, we're instantly triggered to respond. So it's quite possible that we hear that purr that our cat has developed, and we know, like she's trying to communicate something, give me food. Kittens can purr as early as two days of age. And the thought there, that's a way of another form of communication where the kitten is relaying information to her mom. I'm content, I'm happy, I'm healthy. My cat Gussie, she purrs for a number of different things. In particular, she's very happy with her food. So if she sees this, her favorite can of tuna come out, she starts purring. Gussie also likes grass, so I happen to grow her grass. So when she sees her cat grass come out, the same thing. She starts purring. Grass makes for a happy cat. Although purring takes energy, it may also play a big role in helping your cat heal from injuries or wounds. Frequencies in the range of 25 to 150 vibrations per minute are therapeutic for bone growth, pain relief, and wound healing. Lastly, purring may also be good for us. No question, there's a whole host of benefits from the human-animal bond. And purring is just one of those ways that we directly bond with our cats. And then by doing so, we get all those therapeutic benefits. You know, such as feeling more content, such as less stress in our life, such as a better functioning immune system. So, one, I encourage you to get a cat if you don't have one. You probably have one if you're watching this video. Two, I mean, celebrate the fact that your cat purrs. Okay, no, that's not working for my video. There. <laughs> no, you're so not doing the video. You are a bad cat. I'm trying to do a cat video, okay. See, this is be one of those things where you're trying to do a YouTube video and it's not really working out because your grumpy old cat, who's 16, she likes to purr, but on her own terms. She doesn't want to purr on my video's terms. 
for this to be like one of those little outtake sections where the bad cat is trying to scratch me. Thank you for watching this edition of NRA Secrets. What I want you to do now is click that link above. You can subscribe to my channel. And then when you sign up for my newsletter, you can get my free books on videos on how to heal your cats at home with my top natural remedies.